sit down in a bar again. <laughs> I always, actually, I quite like it here in this bar. I sometimes come in here and sit down. Don't always have a beer, but usually do. Um, but it's quiet and it's down a nice little side street in Trat. And um, they always play some nice chill out background music as well. So you can sit here and just watch the world go by. So there we are. Anyway, I've decided that I'm going to make some, I'm going to produce some information films because I've been here in Southeast Asia for a few months now. So I guess I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Maybe not, but uh, I've got a fair idea anyway. So there's one or two things, one or two pointers I can give you, which I'll, I'll do. Um, you know, just a little bit of a advice about things here. Uh, so yes, yeah, some information films coming up. I'm gonna sit back now and relax and enjoy this chill out music and enjoy, and enjoy uh, a beer as well. Okay, now don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining here, but this is what you'll find in Thailand, especially in the towns and the cities, the busy ones. This is a busy road. I'm walking down the pavement, I'm going to continue on the pavement, but I can't because someone's parked a couple of bikes on the pavement there and there's a pillar in the way, so I can't go around that way. Uh, so I've got to go on the road. On the road, there's a couple of cars, so I've got to go onto this busy road to go where I need to go. You see what I'm saying? Um, and as I say, I'm not complaining, you'll find this all over Bangkok. You can't walk down a pavement, and the pavements are not in great condition anyway. Uh, this one's not too bad actually, but there are quite a few pavements. So, uh, just really demonstrating to you one of the uh, uh, issues you might have when you come over here to Thailand. Um, it's a lovely place, great place, and as I said, I'm not complaining. You just live with it have to put up with it, you're in someone else's country, you know, they live over here how they live over here, and it's all about acceptance, I accept it, I just wanted to show you, okay, on the plus point, uh, if you run out of money, don't worry, there's plenty of these around, ATMs, uh, they're all around, especially in the towns and the cities, to take uh, MasterCard and Visa, uh, so the best thing to do is to take out, if you're going to use these things, take out a big wad of money rather than a small amount because of course it costs you per transaction. I think I'm paying about £3 at the moment for every transaction so I take out about £100 each time. Uh, you could take out more I guess, up to you. So there we are. Yeah, you'll probably find these useful too. This is. Uh, the 7-Eleven convenience store, they sell just about everything that a small convenience store can sell. Uh, you'll find 7-Elevens, you'll find them all over Thailand, especially of course in the big towns and the cities. Uh, you usually find one around every corner in fact. Uh, talking about uh, the 7-Eleven convenience store, I've just been in one. I paid, uh, oh these are pretty handy, um, you know about these sort of antibacterial wipes, come in handy here of course because uh, sometimes you need them, you feel that your hands are a bit grubby or your face is a bit grubby, um, that's the way it is, uh, but yeah so uh, just bought some Kleenex and even though it's a known brand, I didn't pay too much. I think these cost about 25 baht, which is about 50p. Oh, so I'm running out of toothpaste as well, so I bought uh, some toothpaste. This is, uh, I think this is, oh, it is Colgate there. So it's got the local brand name and the Colgate name on it. Again, only, I've paid less than a pound anyway for both of these items in the 7-Eleven. So pretty handy. There are uh, Tesco's here as well, I've noticed, and Macro, uh, Tesco's is called Tesco Lotus. Uh, you'll find that uh, you pay, obviously, a little bit more for brands you recognise if you're from the West. 
because uh, of course I've got to import them. So I mean I love cheese and I love wine and I haven't bought any wine since I've been over here and very little cheese because they're both expensive. Uh, but uh, yeah, so there's plenty of choice here. Um, as I say, it just depends on how much you want to pay. <laughs> like everywhere else really and of course the best places to the cheapest places to buy things are as always the markets lots of markets in Thailand in all the towns and even out, out of town as well lots of them plenty of choice plenty of markets you to go and wander around and get a bargain something else as well the uh, easiest way to get a smile to make a friend with a local tie over here well you know when you go into a bar or a shop or somewhere is just bring your hands together up to your forehead and bow i'll show you how it's done later <laughs> and say uh, if you're a man say sawari kra if you're a woman, say Sawari Ka. That is the greeting here, and you'll get a smile, and you'll make a friend. Simple as that. Um, Sawari Kra is what guys say, what men say, Sawari Kra. I've seen it spelt a couple of different ways, actually, the, the, the end bit, the crab. Sometimes it's spelled K-R-A-B, crab, and other times it's spelled K-R-A-P, crab. Uh, but that N letter is silent, so just say Sawadi Kra if you're a guy, if you're a man, and they'll know what you mean. But as I said, if you're a woman, it's Sawadi Ka. <laughs> Another thing worth mentioning is that generally ties don't get angry or annoyed. You know how we in the West sometimes we come across something we don't like and we may get angry or annoyed? Well, it just doesn't happen here. Ties don't do that. Uh, so it's no use having an argument or getting angry over here because you just look stupid. It's best just to walk away. <laughs> There's a saying here in Thailand, and it's uh, whatever. <laughs> and yeah, it's true, whatever. <laughs> Just accept it. Get on with your life. <laughs> That's Thailand. <laughs>